So we've had winner, winner, winner. Now, uh, Timothy, you didn't, you, you didn't win. You didn't win. If it, if it was as a competition, I'm talking about your effort to do well in... Was it an exam about statistics? Oh, God. <laughs> Christ, yes, this is true. I, I, I got a D on that, yeah. You got a D. I got a D, but but but, I mean, I I, I deserved that or or worse. But anyway, so so you're in school, you're doing an exam in statistics. Your teacher, she's Miss Lawton. Yes, Lawton. Uh, Lawton, <laughs> Lawton, Miss Lawton. Uh -huh. Um. So, what were the other kids doing? Were the other kids just doing? Uh, yeah, variation. I mean, I mean, some people presented parabolas and things that were uh, more appropriate for statistics, uh, you know, varied projects. Mine, mine was not. So tell the people what you decided to do. Like a statistics song? Yes, a sort, yeah. of, a sort of statistics rap. Yeah, horrible, bad, bad level, <laughs> worst level. Yeah. Yes. But no, but you came up with a whole rap persona, didn't you? Yeah, but not for that, I just had it. Oh! <laughs> so, Lil, is it Lil Timmy Tim? Yeah, it's part of my, uh... <laughs> Oh, so, uh, so you're gonna regret, you're gonna regret yeah. Yeah. Oh, Gingerbread so... man is nothing yeah. now. Oh, <laughs> like... Now yeah. it's on yeah. the internet. Uh, well, now it's out. But, uh, uh, so how do we have this film? Did you post it? How, do, how does this film exist? So I posted it. I did it with a friend on a green screen in school, and I'm pointing to different... I was gonna Photoshop my teacher's face in, but I got too lazy, so now they're just kind of weird in the video. I'm pointing around, and there's there's nothing. <laughs> uh, well, here are the statistical <laughs> rap stylings of Lil Timmy Tim. Yep, statistic. Yep, yep, statistic. Yep, statistic. Yep, Miss Lil Timmy Tim. <laughs> Let us see the probability you see me on TV. One zero 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 trillion percent. I'm a statistical <laughs> man. <laughs> One in a zillion. About to net a million. Fruity colors on these numbers call it a million. Statistics. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Little yeah. Timmy Tim. Excellent. Excellent work. Well, you're weird. You don't seem to age. <laughs> Does he? Yeah. I feel awful on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Greatly. When we first met, I looked younger, and now I think I've surpassed. I could be his father. <laughs> <laughs> no, because even to like... be fair, though, Seth, when we met, you were 15, and you looked like you were 37. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like 20 years old. <laughs> but no, because even because often when people grow beard, well, clearly I do, but you know they are gray or have gray in them. But mm. even yours, beautiful, beautiful beard. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Well, it's starting to start, start come in a little bit right there in the oh, chat. Oh, please. Um, but actually, we've got a picture of you at Kansas University. I don't know how old you were here. Ah, but look how 18, beautiful yeah. you are. As you can see, I don't just grow hair on my face. <laughs> no. Look how happy you are. I remember taking that picture, and uh, I worked on my hair. I worked on that. <laughs> I, uh, I, was, uh, I was greatly inspired by Michael Hutchins, who was my hero at the time. And I think I tried to blow it dry, and it came off looking a little more Bon Jovi than I <laughs> anticipated. Now, comic book heroes and action films, we kind of assume they appeal to kind of nerdy boys, essentially. Yeah. And you kind of forget there are lots of nerdy women out there. Oh, who, yeah. Who like these films. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone's got their inner nerd. Yeah. You know well, you mean? are a proper nerd, aren't you? Uh, I mean, when it comes to Harry Potter, I'm a massive, massive nerd. Well, we know that because you posted this picture. Is this your 12th or... You're about 12 or 13 here. <laughs> this is Margot Robbie. <laughs> Look how on <uncool>. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter. Ooh, no, you're so real fancy. fancy. So oh, fancy. fancy. Do you know what's particularly pathetic about this picture? A couple things, really. Um, <laughs> number one. I'll let you point them out. <laughs> <laughs> number one, it's my birthday. That's how I chose to spend my birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh yay! So cool. What was in the cup? Uh, number two, I'm drinking tea. Uh, number three, I'm wearing glasses even though I don't need glasses. I lied to the optometrist because I wanted to have glasses like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> now, Daniel, I think you were... Were you a Harry Potter fan or not? I love Harry Potter, but I just didn't get around to reading the last one. OK, so... What? Uh, I, I just... I was... What? I had stuff <laughs> to do, man. <laughs> I was doing so I don't know what happened. I was just like, oh, I'll do it later and then. Are you yeah. kidding me? So you've read one to six and you haven't read the seventh? Yeah, I don't know what Are happened. you actually kidding? <laughs> no, 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 Couldn't bear for a twin. I'm like not gonna be able to sleep tonight <laughs> worrying about it. Life is a game, you know what I mean? So. <laughs>
<laughs> I just like you. Know, it's just you keep it on the edge. Yeah. You mean you this is it. insane for me? <laughs> Do you know another fun fact? Well, My husband. Yeah. This is your thing. This, this is, is your fascinating. Thing. <laughs> this is your no, thing. I can go on about this forever. This I'm so sorry. I brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> I have no one else to blame. <laughs> No, no, Margot, tell us. My... <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop hijacking the show after this. No, no, um, go. Because I'm not here to actually publicise Harry Potter. Okay, that's great. Um, my husband is in the Harry Potter movies. I know. I was like, had you told me sooner, we would have been married very quickly. But he was um, an extra. He was like, when he was a little kid, he's like one of the Slytherin extras. And you know when Draco like pushes some kids out of the way to, yeah. to see Buckbeak in the third book? Yeah. He pushes my husband out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Listen, Daniel, were you ever an extra in Harry Potter? No, no, someone... I had a... My friend was an extra at school, and then I asked him, like, how'd you get into acting? And he didn't tell me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> because you posted a picture of yourself... I wanted to do acting. No, you posted a picture of yourself as... I don't know how old you are, you are a, a little boy here, yeah. and uh, you look like you could be in Hogwarts. Here you are. Gorgeous. Oh, yes! Gorgeous. I love there's no light on there. I love it's that. Oh, I love that. He's the cutest. I love that photo <laughs> so much. You showed me that when we were filming. I love that photo. I feel better about my photo now. Why do you feel It's gorgeous. It what is. am I it's gorgeous. No, gorgeous. Wow. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. I love yeah. that photo. So yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> people you went to school with must be so surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And now, before we talk about another thing, very quickly, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, time traveller. We've had this on the show before. Right, yes. I don't know if you're familiar with this. Uh, yes. Daniel Radcliffe, time traveller. This is the collection so far. Right. Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, me Daniel Radcliffe. Yes. <laughs> lady from the past. <laughs> and this is my favourite one, yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I look like a lot of old women in yes, the past. But it's very rarely men or boys. About two days ago, <laughs> about two days ago, someone found another one. Oh, good. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is a young lady in 1922. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> It is just, it's, I, I don't, these are all my past lives, and I'm just, I'm like, a, a, a sort of a slightly a de depressed lady in yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> if you think you've spotted Daniel Radcliffe in a former life, uh, do get a touch. <laughs> David, did that hair bring you back? Yeah, I've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely had that look. <laughs> you have, know, really? Definitely, yeah. Is that why they cut you from Norwich? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thing. I think it's your man, like you're not Rachel from Friends, and yet whatever you do to your hair, it becomes a thing. Yeah, it does, believe it or not. Yeah. So do you <laughs> some do of you... them have been really bad. <laughs> so do you do you think ahead? Do you kind of no, go, oh, I don't. No, I don't. There's certain ones that I've just done just off the cuff. So there's no shame in some of them. Before any of the hipsters are doing it. I'm not ashamed it. of any of them. Well, you <laughs> should be ashamed of some of them. <laughs> 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 but before any of the hipsters were doing it, you had the top knot. There you go. Lovely. Uh, that's almost a practical that's thing. That's not though. bad. Yeah. yeah, no, it's fine. That's it's fine. Bad. This one... OK, what was going on here? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was maybe a bad decision. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bad timing as well, because I was actually going to uh, South Africa at the time with England, um, and I ended up meeting uh, Nelson Mandela. I know you did. And the, and the pictures... That... <laughs> So that's why, that's why I regret that. <laughs> <laughs> there are other reasons, but uh, we'll, we'll leave it yeah. that. And then the maddest one, the most on David Beckham look, I think, is this one. Because <laughs> that yeah. doesn't seem like you at all. Big smiley face there. No, well, I, I don't know why I had that one. Too. <laughs> I don't. I was asked to shave it off when I first did it. I was, I was sat in the uh, changing room and I had a hat on at the time because Sir Alex Ferguson hadn't seen it. Um, so obviously that was interesting when I took my hat off and uh, we had an hour before the kickoff and he said uh, go and shave it off. Really? Uh, which I said no at first and then I saw his face change very quickly so I <laughs> went and shaved it off in the uh, in the toilet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So would Alex Ferguson would actually be sort of strict on that stuff? Very. Really? Very. Wow. Yeah. What did he it, expect? It was just the you know it was a reputation of the club. Right. He wanted all the players to kind of be professional and he felt that it wasn't the right look and I shaved it off. We were playing at Wembley as well, so he kind of had a point. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and we, we just saw pictures of you in, in Paris with him at the match and yeah. smiling happy. And you obviously get on now. Yeah, we, yeah. Get, yeah, we, we get on this. But it did get bad for a while. Um... I mean, it was made worse than what it actually was. You know, he was a father figure for me for so many years. You know, he brought me to the club that I loved as a kid. I played for the club. I was successful at the club with, you know, a number of the, um, of the young kids as well that we grew up with. So he gave me everything in my career that I needed. And so, you know, he'll always be the man that I always look up yeah. to because he gave me the dream of playing for Man United. So who kind of held out the olive branch? Who kind of went, oh, look... It's, well, I, I, there was no olive branch. It was just, you know, we just bumped into each other at certain occasions after I'd left Manchester United. And, um, you know, there was things that upset me, and I'm, obviously I'm sure, and, well, there definitely was things that upset him. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like I said, you know, I have so much respect for him as a manager, as a man, and, you know, like I said, he gave me my yeah. dream. So you never talked it out, you just put it behind you? Yeah, no, we never even discussed it. Where's Oprah? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I have an infamous picture of me um, in my 20s, and I was just owning this look. I had a turtleneck, I had mom jeans on, I, had, I was wearing a fanny pack. I think we've, pack. Got the, we've got the picture. Here. Oh, no. There, there you are. <laughs> It's a no. strong look. It's, it's something. It's a strong look. And this, oh. was, this was you being serious, yeah? No, oh, yes. Yeah. I think I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is full on. Yeah. And are you aware that this has now become a sort of fancy dress outfit? <laughs> like, people do this. They do this, yeah, yeah. yeah as a joke. Yes, like, uh, it's so crazy. Seth, Seth Rogen was on the show, yeah. and he showed us his version. Here's Seth Rogen, as it. <laughs> and actually, uh, some other people have done it as well. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> My spotlight. You know the spotlight. The, it's the yeah. directory of actors. So what's weird about this is it looks like it was a hundred years ago that I looked like this. Oh. <gasps> but it wasn't that long ago. That's, <laughs> I've just fucked myself up. Really. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> like the rest of you. You know, funny hair, but you look kind of the same. You you were you were slightly older than that when I went to Argos and you was in a safety training video. <gasps> the one with the boxes? Yeah! Oh, my God! I had to sit and watch you going, <laughs> and now... <laughs> don't I be making an idiot. <laughs> oh! I loved your false tumble. No, no, because I then had to be dead. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> there you go. I was playing a corpse. I was! Why, 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 is, why, is, there, why is there a corpse in Argos? In Argos? <laughs> Heavy boxes. Heavy, Heavy boxes. <laughs> but I heard you talking about Ian and talking about how you were intimidated by his beauty. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, well... He, uh, 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 yes. <laughs> please <laughs> tell me this you have a photograph. This was a long time a ago. Gorgeous. I think we do yeah. have a photograph. We've got a photograph of Ian as uh, Coriolanus. Here we are. Look at that. that Come oh. on. Oh, my lord. Wolverine, yeah. eat your heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but having said that, you do look great there, Ian. But check out Patrick Stewart. There you are. Yeah. Well, you know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you've got to look forward to. <laughs> Talking of kind of full circle, uh, uh, Lass Streisand, she also visited the set, didn't yes. she? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that, that was incredible. I mean, I, I think I held my breath for ten minutes while she was there. <laughs> I mean, she is lovely and, you know, she, she's just an incredible woman. And the, the truth is, is throughout her whole career, she really had a hand in every single detail. And I really admire that about her. And when she came on set, she was so lovely and so oh, yeah. warm to all of us. And she watched a little bit of the, you know, earlier edits of the film. And it was, it was spectacular. And we've got a great picture of the two of you together. It's like diva squared. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> was that before? That's before. That's before, yeah. yes. That's well, the first time you met her, right? Yeah, yeah, we had had dinner together at her house. Yeah, of course you had. Um... This <laughs> guy's <laughs> 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 a friend. Oh. Um, oh, oh, oh. I've eaten her dinner. Easy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested, though, because how does this story resonate with you, Lady Gaga? Because you did want to be a star from... Very little. I, how old are you in this? This looks like someone pretending to be Lady Gaga. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. That is my attempt at Michelle Pfeiffer. Catwoman. <laughs> yes. How old are you there? I think I must be 10. Wow. Ten but does it, it looks like a Lady Gaga impersonator, doesn't it? It looks like, yeah, it does. it looks like a little girl. I'm being Lady Gaga yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you grew up to be Lady Gaga. And talking of uh, young stars, uh, how old are you here, Bradley? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, cute! 
27. That was last week. <laughs> yeah. I shaved the beard off. It took years off me. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at that bow tie. Yeah. I don't know. I think that was my birthday. I think maybe three or something. Oh. Yeah. How did that picture get out in the world? How do we know what... Uh, I, I, my mom uh, sends pictures out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> True. No, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that got out there. Now, here's a great picture. This is uh, Jodie, Jodie Whittaker. I don't know when this was, but were, were you going for kind of an 80s pop star look? I think here we are. <laughs> oh. 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 It's a bold choice, guys. It's a bold choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't quite see from that, but I've got tips and they match the pink stripe. Oh, actually, got, I can, got... I'm up close. Yes, you can see. Yeah, There's a kind of a... Pink tips wow. in my hair. Yes. I wasn't going. For, I mean, it That's was the eighties, so I was I was just method. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like a really young aerobics instructor? I don't know, I don't know what I was. Job. But I, I thought I thought I was ace. <laughs> so, you, don't take it away from me. <laughs> Ryan, you do have a connection, a, a, a kind of a weird intro to show business via, was it your uncle, I believe? Yeah, that's right. So he... <laughs> 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 so, was your uncle living with you? Yes. <laughs> and did you walk into the room once? <laughs> I, I walked into the room once and he was, um, um, bedazzling a, uh, a sequined white jumpsuit. And he, and he said that he was going to be Elvis for a little while. And, I, and, and, and you know, would I like to help? And, and uh, <laughs> I said, absolutely. What do, you, what do you need me to do? So I became his head of security. <laughs> and he got my whole family in on the act. My mother was a backup singer. And um, honestly, it was one of the greatest performances I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, you were being sincere. I mean, it was, it was really affecting. No, no, he, yeah, he, I mean, what I admired about what he was doing was that he looked nothing like Elvis, you know? And, um, <laughs> he didn't attempt to. He had a mustache and very little hair. And, <laughs> um, but, my God, he just, he just became him. And, uh, you know, he would end every show with uh, suspicious minds. And he would get on his knees, and, and, and often with tears in his eyes, he would, he would sing to some imaginary woman and beg her not to leave. And we were transported from this mall in my small town in, <laughs> in Ontario to, to, to that. I imagine it was a kitchen, and she was trying to leave. And we were just in that moment every night. And it was, it was incredible and, and, and honestly one of the best, like, <laughs> acting lessons I've ever, I ever had. Yeah. I wish but, you could have popped out with those sequins. Yeah. <laughs> could have used a little. I would have liked that. How old were you at when you were doing security? I want to say six. <laughs> so it's been, quite quiet in the mall. Did you have water guns? <laughs> I just had two tiny guns. <laughs> the thing is, because it, it's so unusual to have two such young Oscar winners. You know, this is normally something that happens That's later. why for France. Yeah. <laughs> You're part of an elite club. Mm. But the other thing you share is quite short-lived careers in modeling. Oh, I thought you just said oh, short-lived yeah. careers. Yeah, <laughs> like, Wow. I was like, ooh. Oh. <laughs> Happy New Year! Yeah. <laughs> so, so because you now, what was your big break? Was it Where Vogue, Esquire? This? I think all, all of the above. Talk about your modeling. <laughs> talk about it. Or was it in fact? You want me to actually, talk about my modeling? No, I think he's about to talk about what? my modeling. Yeah, yeah, no, God, because, because no, yes, because he did. You, look at these. Like it's hard to make a jumper sexy. True that. <laughs> But Jumpers, right? I think he's managed it. <laughs> has Wool has Wool ever looked hotter? I mean, seriously. Here's the thing. Your What's sweater the... has eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a high point. But oh, I, can, I think you can God. actually still buy that. And it's the, the point of that is you can learn to knit it yourself. So you, oh. you guys can take one of those home and knit it yourself. Right, actually, so I can buy the sweater and then I have to do it myself yeah. as well. Yeah, no, actually, there's a classic thing in here. So you know when you want something for Christmas and you say to like your mommy or your granny, oh, I'd really like a really trendy sweat top. I'd like a really nice trendy zippy up sweat top, and then they knit it for you. <laughs> 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 That's the Christmas nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. But you still do some modeling, don't you? 
uh, sporadically and very unsuccessfully. Oh, um, stop it! You do I big brands. <laughs> well, I did do. I did some. Um, I did a campaign for Burberry, which was very amazing, and, and, and I did it a, f a few years ago. And Mario Testino shot it. Oh. And I remember doing. It was when I was just starting out, and there, in this photograph, there was a sort of, there was a, a, a model and me, an actor, wannabe actor, and a um, musician. And Mario Testino, who I'd never worked with, who is one of the most extraordinary, brilliant people, but he's just almost, in that moment, he was almost like a sort of parody of himself. So we had to run and jump for the photograph. And he goes, he's literally got the camera there, and he goes, OK, so darling, <laughs> you supermodel, you rock star, Eddie, you movie star, I'm Mario Testino, I want to see go! <laughs> <laughs> These two sort of pros and me with this. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets the photos because they're so natural ones of sort of shock and minor despair and uh, wonder, I think, at the same time. Because you, you, and you don't have my picture. No, I yes. don't. Because and I'll tell you why. Yes, tell us why. Because it's really amazing job I to get. I was an Abercrombie model. Get yeah. in. Abercrombie and Fitch, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Don't, don't make your hoots. Please tell me the story. <laughs> so the, my pictures never came out. I did like the whole campaign and the pictures never came out and I didn't know why. And my agent wrote and asked why and they literally only responded with the photos. <laughs> <laughs> because they, like their whole like idea was like, we want real people. So they, you know, they like got, I don't know, we were like on a beach and then they threw us a football and they're like, play football. And all the other, Models were like playing football, like in a pretty way, you know, like, <laughs> and not me. <laughs> <laughs> I was all of the photos. I've got a red face, covered in sweat. My nostrils are flared. I'm like, go! Back of a picture, and like at one point, a girl yelled, "Just get her away from me!" <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> You were here, Nicole. Mm. Uh, we enjoyed some of your early modelling work on the oh. late lamented Dolly magazine. Thank you, no, beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> finely judged work. Um, <laughs> I but, was shocked. That you no, found don't, them. don't worry, we're not we're not showing them again. Oh, good. But we have. There is others. We, there are some lovely pictures of uh, Keith. As, a, oh, as, a, as an emerging oh, bright yeah. star on the Australian music scene. You uh, here yeah. you are in Tamworth. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's cute. Oh, that, that is adorable. You know what's really criminal about that is actually that was last Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, as your jeans? Tight your terrible. jeans out. Yeah. I know. Yeah, the population of Tamworth's growing. <laughs> 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 the elevation. <laughs> I wouldn't recognize you in that picture, but then there's another picture. Honestly, I only know this is you because it says it's you. This is Keith Urban. Oh. I mean, check <laughs> that out. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, wow. yeah. That, I'd mm, never my heard... love. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is yearbook, but it said, boy least likely to marry Nicole Kidman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not until you see my yearbook. <laughs> <laughs> need yours. Uh, huh? We need, we need next seagulls. picture next. No, no, we've had the cold in all our glory. <laughs> <laughs> we need no more. Come on, Alan, Alan. Alan. Oh, we need okay. Alan. Well, Alan. Uh -oh. No, this is no. It's in your book. This is uh, 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 this, There has to be a story <laughs> or an explanation <laughs> to this. Around the same time yeah. as Keith was wearing very tight jeans, uh -oh. what was that you weird? were on a school trip to Germany <laughs> without <laughs> jeans. <laughs> Was that just the look? We were all doing it in the same <laughs> <laughs> What, what I love about that? this is he's still a proud of a tidy sock. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a, 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 a girl sent it to me, a girl who was at school who was on that school trip, sent it to me <laughs> via Twitter, and I was like, ah, ha, ha. and I thought, why did I have no trousers? <laughs> <laughs> I must have taken them off for a bet or something. I don't know, but you... it's a good look. But I think he doesn't very calm about it, kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking a yeah. short jumper dress. I've got no trousers on. <laughs> but I have this theory, most men have excellent legs. People say that. Yeah, right? It's not, it's like, it's, I think, what I think is interesting is that a lot of men have body parts, not body parts, but bits of the bodies that women desire, like slim oh, yeah. hips, long eyelashes, <laughs> and so I think so women, women think that all men have better things that they want than them. It's not true. I've seen a lot of naked men, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
thing is, as a director, when did you kind of come to the realization that you might be able to play the gnarly old guy? <laughs> it's funny. I got like. I did an interview, Graham. You'll enjoy this because you're now the gnarly old guy oh, with yeah. me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and so I was doing an interview the other day, and they said, you know, you used to be in all these movies like Out of Sight and Ocean's Eleven, and they go, is this the, is this what you want to now do with your career? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the old, old gnarly guy. <laughs> it's called aging. There's nothing I can do about it. If I could you know, go back to 1998, I would. <laughs> but uh, you, the young actor playing the young Augustine, Ethan, Ethan, is it Ethan Peck? Oh, there yeah. he is. He's, yeah. There he is on the... On plays the... me as a young man, and I'm directing, and I'm casting, and so he's six foot three, <laughs> great looking, and I'm like... And I, I can't cuss on this thing, but I said, you know, screw it, I'm hiring that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but now we, we can see how accurate he is as in terms of being you at that age, because we've got a picture of you, you at that age. Uh, here you are. Uh, look at you. Uh, oh. That wasn't that age. You are a rat. Nope. <laughs> are you are you young? You're younger there or older? I'm 22. They, look at the mullet. You don't have that mullet when you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 22 year old mullet. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. We can go further back, George, because your father, your father, oh. recently he revealed this picture of you at 11. Now, if anyone at home is thinking, God, my children are so ugly. Uh, <laughs> This is no, this is really cheery because <laughs> this 11 year old grew into George Clooney. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Hope for all. In fairness, uh, we didn't have a lot of cash, and my mom cut my hair, and clearly that's not her skill. <laughs> <laughs> She's obviously one of our finest actors. And I think the performing bug bit early on. Because I know you know this picture. Uh, it's you. Were, I don't know how old you were, but you, clearly you are the star of this show. Here they are. Uh, can you tell which <laughs> wow. one is Dame Judy? <laughs> it's this one who's taken her socks off to upstage the others. <laughs> I pushed my way to the front. <laughs> he really did. Look at, she looks so unimpressed. <laughs> I wore socks. <laughs> The girl on the right is Angela Beresford, and she couldn't t stand the middles of sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> She's come to our house and say, I can't eat this sandwich, I can't eat this, and I can't eat that and that and that. But she would eat the bread. She ate the bread. OK. <laughs> Perhaps you should make her a bread sandwich. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I should have thought of it. <laughs> I Just give her a loaf. <laughs> 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 This one at the end who, who just didn't get the memo about the costume at all. <laughs> <laughs> her mother hated her. <laughs> Don't go in that, you'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> Kristen, we've also got a picture of oh, you. Yeah. As, mm. I, I don't know if you're a young performer this in is... this, but you are okay. quite young. Now... Oh, man. OK, can I explain? <laughs> <laughs> I... The sun will come okay, out. Exactly. <laughs> Perms a lot. You clearly did. Oh, Perms. when I was a kid, and I also discovered sun in, which, you know, it's supposed to make your hair blonde, but when you have brown hair, it turns it red. Great. That's uh. <laughs> very cute. Was this around the um, time that you decided to pass yourself off as a musician? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I. My dad played the guitar, and I would take uh, the guitar out of the case, and I would walk around my neighborhood with the case because I wanted people to think that I played the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Just like walk and just like look at people and be like, oh, you know, and I would just carry it around. <laughs> <laughs> but you kept things in it, didn't you? Oh, so I yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I remember putting, thinking to myself, I should probably put vitamins in there in case I got tired. <laughs> So I just had, like, Flintstone vitamins in the guitar case. Yes, yes. It was very heavy, the guitar case. I know, yes. You were thinking ahead. Yes. Now, we have a picture of Jamie Foxx, young. Yeah. But now, how, what age are you here? Oh! Uh. Yeah. the same kind of hair right there. <laughs> Bro, that's the, that's the Jerry curl right there. I was 18 right there. That was a... 
I was 18 years old. Now, is that a backdrop to make it look like there's brick back there? You know what? Uh, no, I think that's real brick. Oh, okay. Real brick? Real brick, baby. It's a brick yeah. house. He shelled out for this picture. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you thought Jamie Foxx looked old there, I think you were about 20. <laughs> I don't... I see no problem with that. <laughs> Are you about 20 years old there? Yeah. <laughs> what was going on in your head? I wanted to look like Magnum P.I. <laughs> <laughs> I actually grew a mustache in high school because I played lacrosse and I thought it would make me look more threatening. Right. <laughs> and it didn't really. It just made me look like a porn star. <laughs> A porn performer. A porn performer. <laughs> yeah. That's not a porn star, is it? No, no, he, he was in it. That's he wasn't the star. <laughs> no. That was a day, a day was player. A day, a day a player. A porn, porn day player. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, everyone started very young. Now, Ben, the last time you were here, yes. uh, we enjoyed very much uh, your early work on yes. Voyage of the Mimi. Yes. Uh, we're not going to show any more. Thank but you. Do Google it because it is worth seeing. <laughs> Look at that slide. Uh, <laughs> what's, he, what's, what's he got cooking? <laughs> that is very good listening face. Very good interested listening face. Yeah. 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 Tell me more. That is... <laughs> 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 no, seriously, you really need to Google it. Uh, uh, and Sienna, you started... Was it modelling you started? You were quite young when you started modelling. I was just short, and so... I, no, I mean, yes, but not, like, proper. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't like that either. No, well, I just. What's the really improper <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Should we just draw a veil? I, uh, did, I did a bit, yeah. Yes. And then, Emma, you did some extraordinary work as a child actor. I mean, take this, Meryl Streep. Oh, look God. at that. Oh, yeah. What is that? What that what is, is that? genius. Is that prosthetics? Oh, that's amazing. That's the princess in the pea. I did a kind of Edgar G. Robinson thing where I was like, oh, 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 it's genius, it's genius. Uh, but tonight, with La La Land in mind, we are going to focus on the early dancing career of Mr. Ryan Gosling. Oh, oh right. Um, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Now, it makes sense that the only video you have tonight is... Yeah. Yeah, is yeah. this. <laughs> so right. the dance troupe you were in, can you tell us about Because apparently, young dancers, they can be qu quite vicious. It's a cutthroat business. <laughs> I uh, had to get out. <laughs> I, I was on some kind of a Canadian star search, and uh, I somehow made it to the finals, and uh, my main competition were these two... Uh, twins who were tap dancers and they were dancing to Phil Collins' uh, Two Hearts. Cool. And they had big heart-shaped bows and they were just, uh, <laughs> they were the ones to beat. So <laughs> I remember, uh, you know, wishing them luck and going on stage and I was getting ready to start. I was dancing the uh, Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory, mm. of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to start, which is This Is How You Started. A winning dance number, if you want to know. <laughs> Get out of your hands, Go ahead, go up. And I, and I look up, up, up into the, into the uh, just off stage, and the, the two twins are standing there like the twins from The Shining. <laughs> and they're just going like this. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, all right, this now means war. That's why I just shimmied my way all the way to the... <laughs> To that trophy, to that tiny little trophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I was going. Is this the same troop? I was going to say it's an all, it's an all girl troop, but obviously it's not. You're in it. Right. But, but <laughs> you, you, you are. Thank you. But you are the nice only person. boy in it. Yeah, that was the. Was that the? That was the point. That I was think. the gimmick. They let me dance there for free because I was a guy. Because if you had a guy, you you would win. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so are you are you ready to see the the, the, the dance stylings? Uh, I believe you're dancing to Kathy Dennis's classic, Touch Me. Did <laughs> um, uh, the troupe have a name, Ryan? It was Elite Dance Studio. <laughs> in, uh... Uh, and how old are you in this one? Old enough to know better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.
I, I wish I could say someone said, here, you have to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my idea. I thought, I have a vision for this number. It's, it's purple and silver hammer pants. They are br the silver hammer pants are... I don't oh, think we, no we, we gave them enough of a shot. We gave up with hammer, but I, don't, I think we should we should have kept them going. We didn't give, no? Yeah, right. They may come back. They may come back. <laughs> Chris, when you got to L.A., yeah. you got lucky with headshots very early on. Yeah, I, that was, yeah, that was something that I knew I needed was headshots everyone says you need yeah. headshots and so I was on the hunt for headshots but I was completely broke and uh, I was I was at the post office in West Hollywood which is uh, an area in LA that's like a predominantly gay area and uh, I was there getting head uh, getting uh, like picking up some men. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I and I saw this this guy was like was had this look. He was like, like he recognized me. I was like, hello. <laughs> and he was like, you look familiar. Have I shot you? And I was like, I've never been shot. <laughs> I don't believe. You've shot me. Uh, <laughs> and he was like, no, I'm a, do you model? I'm a photographer, do you model? And I was like, no, but I need, uh, have you ever heard of headshots? I need uh, something called headshots. I was 20 years old. And the guy's like, I do headshots. I live like two blocks from here. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> to my apartment. I will give you headshots. I was like, well, what does it cost? He's like, just, it's fine, I'll cover you. I was like, oh. Sweet. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and so uh, oh, no. I go to this guy's apartment. He lived on the top floor. Really nice apartment. Amazing furnishings. Uh, <laughs> he was like, "Listen, you probably you're a little grimy. You probably need a shower." I was like, "That's a really good idea." <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. I showered. <laughs> Tons of good soaps and I was like, this is great. I probably needed a shower. And then he was like, hmm, you should you should probably wear some different clothes. So he gives me like this nice, nice white shirt that has a polo shirt, nice shirt. And uh, and kind of like helps me and like judges me up and stuff. And like we go out on the balcony and and he takes like a bunch of photos and he's like directing me and telling me what to do. And he takes all these photos and takes the film out of the camera and he puts it in the film thing and he just gives it to me. And he was like, there you go. And I just walked out and I was like, yeah, I'd stick to that story as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but, but, look at the, but the picture, look at the picture Yeah, it's you really got. embarrassing. No, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Look, that silenced the audience. The audience, oh, my God, look at him. Look at uh, my yeah. hair. That was a guy who clearly couldn't afford a haircut, let alone a headshot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you yeah. ever yeah. see him again? I don't know that I ever saw him again. I, if you're watching, thank you for my headshots. They were awesome. He's, they, uh... he's probably making money of those pictures he took of you in the shower that you yeah. didn't know about. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You paid him for those. Yeah. 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 Uh, which is uh, finished <laughs> America, but it's coming here soon. Soon, at some point. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Steal it on the internet. Yeah. If you but it was, no, it. but it, don't, um, don't do that. I guess not. <laughs> no, don't, don't. <laughs> but it was um, a big hit. It's you and Steve Buscemi. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's uh, myself and Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi plays God. That's the that's the very short pitch of the series. That's how I'm just you know. If that doesn't get you interested, then what will? <laughs> but yeah, he's playing God, kind of presiding over a heaven that is uh, falling apart and chaotic, and we have to. And he kind of like on a whim decides to end the world, and then me and a bunch of other characters who are kind of very low level uh, angels. Um, have to convince him that the earth is worth saving. And it's very just like sweet and earnest, but also very dark and a lot of people die. Ooh, yeah, okay. it's a good mix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we've got a picture of you. This isn't you in character. This is yes, that's a part of so when I, so the angel I play in that show, at one point we all go into the like the past lives that the angels had when they were on Earth, and everyone else had very glamorous past lives, except for me, whose past life was that I was a guy that lived and uh, w w just watched a bog all day long. Um, and there was, I spent like two hours in makeup for that, and then we were on set for like five minutes. It was one shot of me just eating mud. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was very, it was very fun. Yeah. Um, now, that is you in a former life, and that reminds us.
Oh, God. Uh, in previous uh, appearances <laughs> on the show, Daniel Radcliffe, we've discovered this thing, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, time traveller. Okay. okay. So okay. here, just here's some of the some of the hits. This is some of the hits, before, of the hits like, we've seen yeah. so far. Okay. okay. Here, here's Daniel. Uh, Basically, like <laughs> I look like a lot of older women from the past. Sorry. No, 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 no. I mean, no. no he I... also looks like some men from the past. There yeah. you go. Can you spot oh, yeah. him in this? Can you see him? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is one of my favourites. This is him uh, as an art. Oh yeah, <laughs> just, like, just like a stern Victorian lady. That's yeah. what I look like apparently. Uh, now, so anyway, so after that, it's it's now got ridiculous. We get sent these all the time. What? Next time Daniel's on, show him this. Show him this. Oh now some God. of them are good. Like yeah. this, this does. That is conceivably you or a relative. Oh, yeah. Who is that person? Should I don't I be know. trying to play him in a film? What is? It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let me play historical. him. Yeah. But that is quite good. Yeah. This, yeah. in fairness, this is quite piss poor, really. That's just a That's nun a in glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That does yeah. not look like the you. The criteria there has just widened <laughs> a person wearing glasses. Yeah. yeah. But this one. This one is this. I think it's maybe she's a lady gout show or something. I don't know what okay. she is, but God, it looks like you. <laughs> 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 Sir Ronan, you also you won a really good prize. Yeah. What did you win? I won a trip to Florida when I was a kid. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. The so <laughs> Yeah. It's like, yeah. No, that's good. Cool. Um, tell us, tell us how you won it. I well, I won it when I was a, when I was a kid, and I had never entered into a competition like that before. And it was the first day of the summer holidays when I was I was like nine or ten or something. And Jerry Ryan, who you know, was this very well known Irish DJ at home. He's passed away now, but he was he was really incredible. And his show was like the top show in the country. And Trek Two had just come out. That's how long ago it was. And he was giving away this holiday to Florida. And what you had to do was you had to phone in as one of the characters in Shrek 2 and tell Jerry why you deserved the holiday. And I hadn't started properly acting yet at that stage or anything. But Dad was an actor, so I was around sort of like, you know, improvisers and things like that. And Mum and was like, you should go in for it, just why not? We had never been on like a proper holiday. I was like, oh God, okay. So we got a little notepad, like tiny little notepad, and we wrote down like a tiny little script of what I was gonna say, just this short little script. And I got on, and I think I was one of the first kids on, and I and I did it as the gingerbread man, and and so then five days later he he phoned up and told me that we had won. Well, you were on the Late Late back in Ireland a couple of weeks yeah. ago. And they, they found this clip. So this is uh, this is two little clips put together. This is, it, it's your gingerbread man. Yeah. Uh, Followed by, which I really like, your reaction to winning. Yeah. So here's very the, squeaky voice. <laughs> here we Just go. Here we go. Now, Saoirse is 10 years of age. Yeah. Now, which character have you chosen? Um, I'm going to do the gingerbread man. Off you go, Saoirse. Hiya, Jerry. The reason why I need a holiday is because I've... I've... I've never had a holiday before. You're the only little girl in the house, are you? Um, yeah. Well, I've got news for you. Yeah? You're going to Florida. When you win an Oscar, I want you to react like that. Oh, my God, oh my God. <laughs> I also got a blow-up donkey halfway through the week, so that's what I was like, oh, I'm out of it then, if they've sent me a blow-up donkey. <laughs> I had this, like, this, this donkey that went up to it, and I brought him into school and everything. I was like, I haven't won the prize, but at least I got this. Yes. Um, but, yeah. Because, Tom Edelson, now, one of your... Because you acted in, in school, but you were in school. Yeah. I mean, how posh is this? You go to see a school production, and Tom Hiddleston's in it with Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, um, yes. Uh, he was a great talent even then. He was the star. He was a huge star. And we were in um, a school production of A Passage to India by E.M. Forster. <laughs> 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 there must have been some really <laughs> depressed parents going in to see that. <laughs> a passage to... They're doing a passage to India. <laughs> <laughs> How long was it? I, 
I have no idea. <laughs> Very <laughs> long, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, all boys school. Um, They're only halfway. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Eddie, the great Eddie Redmayne, the now uh, Oscar winning yeah. Eddie Redmayne, was playing the female lead. And uh, in, in the passage to India, there's an there's a expedition to this cultural landmark called the Marabar Caves by elephant. Um, I'm delighted to reveal that I played the front right leg of the elephant that Eddie was running. <laughs> <laughs> um, so and it was four of you to make the elephant. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he was sitting on you. He's, he's sitting on... We're holding a table <laughs> oh, um, wow. with a cushion on top of it and also a tablecloth to cover our faces. Because we, our bodies are the elephant. Um, yeah, so that's... Um, that Sounds the... awful. <laughs> <laughs> You've just got that picture in your head. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I imagine just sitting there thinking, I haven't had a drink, we're at school. Oh. We're carrying a, some boy dressed as a girl on top of a table. <laughs> My son's playing the front leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even, see my, I can't even say that's right. my boy. Yeah. <laughs> front leg. Front leg. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. IMDb, front leg. Front front leg. leg. Yeah, yeah. Great. We don't want to make anyone cry, but there are sad days in the publishing world in Australia. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm afraid Dolly Magazine has shut its doors, Nicole. <laughs> Dolly Magazine is no more. And Dolly Magazine was very important to you when you were starting out, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I got on the cover of Dolly Magazine. Here we go. Oh, there no. you are on the cover <laughs> of the magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Looking stunning. <laughs> uh, they've got a giant are you Michael Jackson. being Jack facetious. No, you, no you, <laughs> you look fabulous. Mm. And I dyed my hair red. I was only like 14. But is your... It wasn't red like that. Everyone always thinks it was that red yes. and it wasn't. No, they dyed it red. Inside, though, some fabulous high fashion shots of you. Oh, God. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. This, this, this just mm. it gives you an idea of the quality of fashion in Dolly Magazine. Um, <laughs> that is a, a lovely shiny it, yes. It's a lovely shiny jacket, and I have to say, these rope seams. <laughs> I'm not sure they ever caught on the rope seam. <laughs> I've never seen them before in my life. But, but this next picture, this is. You can, you, oh, you can tell. God, you're brutal. So, so, no, there's only one more. Only one more. So, so I, mean, I you know wish, that... I honestly wish my hair was like that now. Oh, I'm so, it's so <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> I, because I, I have to say, anyone that has curly hair that's young, keep your curly hair, don't straighten it, because it, after a while, you don't get your curls back. Really? So, no, they just, they kind of become just frizz mass. I mean, that is frizz mass, but I kind of <laughs> like that. But I, uh, yeah, it's gone. So I'm like an old woman now where I say, don't dye your hair <laughs> and don't straighten your curls. <laughs> I like that idea. You know, when photographers in movies, when they're doing, mm. you know, fashion, and they're always like, oh, look sexy, or give me something, give me this, or, you know, try this. Yeah. Da -da -da. What had the photographer said oh, so before mean. this picture? Why aren't you doing this to anybody else? see your pants. <laughs> I know you're going to say something rude then. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, no. You're, you're 23 now. So yeah. The odd thing for you is that because you've grown up being on screen, yeah. you've never kind of had to do the awkward teenage thing. You've never had, you know... I did, but it was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't notice it. Right we really there. didn't notice it. <laughs> uh, I, I think I, I can speak freely that we've probably all had, you know, slightly awkward teens. Now... <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Eric McCormick, mm. uh, you posted this picture, so it's not like I broke into your house and found it. Uh, how old were you in this picture? Oh! Yeah. Wow! Yeah, that, was, uh, <laughs> that was my Bay City Rollers phase. Uh, I was 15. Oh, oh yeah. my God. God. You look 32. Wow. <laughs> really? Really? 
Yeah. You're, you're, you're younger now. I think I was. I was <laughs> You've grown into yourself. <laughs> I haven't yet figured out how to pluck the center. There. So there's still there's wow. still a good amount of hair there. And uh, <laughs> who was the guy who played the Incredible Hulk? Was it Lou Ferrigno? <laughs> <laughs> there's a whiff of Lou about this. Yes. And, and a little David Cassidy. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. just about to star in my high school production of Godspell when I did that. Oh. oh yes. I've never seen Judy. such a short fringe, but such long at the back. So yes. I know. So precise. It's not, it's it's not a clean. mullet. It's, like, <laughs> You're very very it's more yeah. like a yeah. Farrah Fawcett mm. flip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, let, let's calm down. Uh, let's calm down, Deborah, because uh, yeah. we've oh, also got a picture of you. Okay. And, you, and this is an. I think it's a particularly American thing that some American girls do look about 45. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that 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 hair it's 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 got life in it, doesn't it? Yeah. That is solid. You yeah. can hide yeah. pencils in that. Yeah. 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 There's a postcode as well, but I saw that. That's right. <laughs> What was that photo for? Like? That was my high school graduation photo. Did really? you think you were supposed to face Europe. this way and then yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 over here? Oh, like, oh. You know, I grew up in, in rural Rhode Island, and I, and I think that I knew that I had to find some drama in my life. <laughs> so I think that I felt like, okay, it looks like he's I'm rush. here. <laughs> perfectly lit as well. Yeah. The well, school did an amazing they job. They did, right? Because yeah. that's more than one light. Like, there's a bit yes. of here and the oh, yeah. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They, they went all out in East Greenwich, Rhode Island. <laughs> yes. I feel in Lewisham they didn't. Here's, uh, here's Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That's just one light. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are you holding that bag? <laughs> so really okay, well, I understand there's a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> to these as the bad years. <laughs> I think, well, I think that... It's well, like I know what that is. Right? So, no, so I'm 15 years of age. Mm -hmm. I'm on an Easter egg hunt that I'm too old for, let's be honest. <laughs> I've absolutely demolished the hunt, though, to be fair to me. <laughs> I've caned them. Um, yes. <laughs> There's a lot of children over here crying. <laughs> it already feels like an anxiety dream. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? Taking it back. Yeah, so I, yeah, I just smashed the uh, Easter egg hunt. It looks like um, ev police evidence, doesn't it? Yeah. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> and then the hair, the, the glasses. I mean, let's talk about the fringe. You were, t you yeah. were talking to him about the fringe? Yeah. I mean, like... we're, we're the same age in those photos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Different times. Who made it in Hollywood, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put a bet on those two photos next to each other. Well, the Easter egg comes the Easter egg serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that fringe. Well, Eric looked like a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first time you've had to grapple with sort of high concept science problems. No, I had some training, much like my character in the movie. I had some yes, training in my job. early life, uh, but this kind of training was training in the, you know, making sixth grade math and science students suffer through belabored explanation of math and science concepts on a child's TV show. Because we didn't get this, I don't think we got it here, called Voyage of the Mimi. And how old were you when you presented Voyage of the Mimi? Uh, well, I did it over a period of time, and I'm not sure which clips you have. There's somewhere I'm 10 and somewhere I'm 13. Okay, I think this might be a later. This is just. This oh, there was somewhere I was even 14, actually, when I came to England. I was oh, a then, bit well, then you might be 14 yeah, in this yeah. one, because this is in England. This is just to give you a taste of Voyage of the Mimi. Hi, I'm Ben Affleck. Archaeologists, like the ones in the second voyage of the Mimi, are a lot like detectives, but their clues are hundreds, even thousands of years old, and they can never really be sure if they've solved their mysteries, you know, never really know what was happening back in the past. Well, there's a man here, 60 miles southwest of London, England, who's doing some archaeology that might help provide some new clues for some old mysteries. Ooh. Oh, beautiful work. <laughs> Very relaxed. You know how to set up a story. You just looked, you just looked really relaxed. Those jeans said, hands in pockets. Didn't they? <laughs> you know when you get a laugh just on saying, I'm Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I was a very gangly young man <laughs> who uh, came to England and, and was, it was a documentary, I think, about Greenwich Mean Time. And uh, I had never been to England before. I was all excited about the time difference. It was a big thrill. I didn't, nobody <laughs> made me go see the changing of the garden. <laughs> and now, when you were talking, obviously, you're a very bright man. Did you understand what they were saying to you? No, it was the case of, it was almost the same kind of thing as, as, as what you described, but like, and this was real science, you know what I mean? It actually <laughs> did make sense, but I, it was totally beyond me. I had no idea, yeah. and I, they worked me to the bone, so I was half asleep all the time, and <laughs> it would get to my reaction shots at the end of the day, you know, and I was just kind of going like, yeah, yeah you know. So yeah, was, you, you are a very good actor, but I have to say, you do seem a little unengaged <laughs> in some of your listening shots. We just put together a few, a, a select, and also, so, so, <laughs> there are two things to enjoy here. It's Ben Affleck's unengaged listening face, mm -hmm. and the experts who, I don't know who you are experts, but you are amazing. <laughs> I'm not really involved with the physics of these machines. My job is to design these big magnetic devices. So those oscillations in skin temperature represent turning on sweating, evaporative cooling, turning off sweating, waiting until the skin temperature gets hot again, and then it cycles. What happens to us here in the stone yard then is to actually t follow the life of one stone in particular right the way from the quarry as we get it here in the rough block. Other animals pant, uh, breathing rapidly over their tongue and mucous membranes. They get evaporative cooling there and some through the foot pads. There's a little bit of temperature uh, heat exchange through the foot pads, but mostly panting. <laughs> You that, did well. That is my... I still use that face. Come to <laughs> that look is all over Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> but with those experts, your face should have been just like... <laughs> it's like a look of horror. Like, who's left me alone in a room with this man? Like, there were the sensitivities, <laughs> the things that were appropriate and not appropriate for children. How about if he sweats, takes all his clothes off, and you guys do a scene? <laughs> <laughs>